Hey everyone, this is Cole, aka the Big Finichetti from Fake Music Only. Um, this is being recorded after we recorded the original episode, um, and I'm doing that just to let you know that uh, this episode was originally supposed to have two guests, but um, one of those two guests wound up having technical difficulties very, very early on in the recording, so we just decided to cut the first 15 minutes instead of including them for consistency's sake, so... Um, this episode doesn't have a proper intro, it kind of just starts in the middle for that reason, so I felt like we needed a bit of a, you know, explanation for that. Um, but while I'm just talking to you guys, I'll let you know that uh, we now have timestamps in the description, so if you want to just jump around and not listen to the entire episode, but hear us talk about certain projects, you can do that. Just, you know, click to the click the timestamps in the description. Um, and with all that out of the way, I don't think there's anything left to say, so uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the episode. I don't know which came first, shitty rave music or the drugs. You have technicians here making noise. No one is a musician. They are not artists because nobody can play the guitar. Instead of hearing music, you hear this. Speaking of stuff that's damaging to your body, like aluminum cans when you eat them, Bobby. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about the Peekaboo EP, uh, Wrecking Ball. Ah, oh, damn, man. I was going to be like, oh, fuck, man. If you were going to talk about was... Body Rush. Oh, 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 Body Rush. <laughs> we can, we, you know, we can find a better transition for that. But, yeah, uh, you're probably right. But, yeah, okay, so, uh, so Peekaboo. Um, I was just talking for a while. IMG, you go with this. Okay, so I saw this morning when I went to go listen to this that this was on Disciple. I was ready for it to be... Peekaboo's not Either. a disciple. Like oh, I thought it was. No, it no, looked no, like no, no, this is on uh, this is on Deadbeats, which is uh, Zed's Dead. Oh Red. my god, oh, damn it! I was gonna be like, this is like the first disciple release I enjoyed in years. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> not quite. No fucking thumbnails, man. Okay, anyway, so all right, minus my disciple best EP I've heard in forever from them thing i think this ep was very very good i'm i'm a very big experimental junkie and you mix experimental with like kind of like dubstep type stuff i i think it was mostly dubstep but like you mix it with that kind of stuff and you've definitely got me interested like the samples were pretty top quality top notch um I forget which track was the kind of funky one. I think it was like, here, let me pull up the track list real quick. But I think it was like the third or fourth track that was, um, I really like because it was a nice good change of pace after kind of uh, dubstepy hip- type stuff. Hypnotendies? Is that the one? That that might be it. I don't know. I was on my bike and I didn't know. That's so. the, it's, it's, the, it's the third one. Um, on okay. Thing. All right. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. But yeah, I was definitely like because i mean with a name like peekaboo because i've kind of heard it and i was kind of ex- i was have, pretty sure he was like an experimental type artist so have, I was... have you listened to peekaboo before the cp no i haven't I, at least oh, not that's, knowingly that's interesting actually Cause... yeah because I, I i swear i've heard of him like you know like because i think he popped up when i looked up igloo ghost one time or something and so yeah i he, yeah, I he, definitely enjoy this EP. The, also, the sound design is like super good. Yeah, I I, I don't really have much else to say. I'd probably say, um, I don't know. I I'd honestly rate this like an eight and a half, maybe a nine. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you on this. Um, for for like like for a little bit of context, Peekaboo kind of blew up last year. Um, because he's pushing this whole new sub well not whole new but he's pushing a subgenre uh that hasn't really been worked on too heavily in in years past which is I, like i think it's called deep dub um oh yeah deep dub okay i yeah. know what you're talking about yeah 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 so so he put out like two eps last year they were both really good um for for this genre and like like him along with g-rex and a few other people are um you know like 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 they've kind of pushed the genre to a point where 
a lot of different people are trying it. Like Company had a deep dub track on his last EP. Uh, Ghastly put one out, which was you know interesting to see. Um, so now that they've kind of brought the genre where they want it to be, I was hoping for this EP to be, um, I guess, Peekaboo experimenting more. Um, and we mm-hmm. kind of got that. Um, but at the same, at the, at, at the same time, it was also, it was also just him doing more of the same on most tracks. That being said, I'm honestly not too angry because, uh, this is like well above. He, he, his, his, he's his starting to perfect projects. the formula. Yeah, no, like, 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 like his last two EPs were good. Um, but some of the tracks were super boring because the, the drops were just so deep and they weren't really going anywhere. With this, ever th- th- there's always something going on. Um, mm-hmm, I, I, I thought I, I thought that whistleblower was really was really cool. Like uh, that was the one that kind of sounded like it had a bird song. I also that's that's my favorite one. That's yeah. my favorite on the CP. Yeah, was, yeah, whistleblower is fucking cool. Um, my favorite one is probably the last track, which is swinging. Um, like every sound in this thing is fucking crafted to perfection. It like 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 it was it was insane listening to this for the first time. And it's also fun, like with the "I don't give a fuck" sample. Which yeah, is, you know, yeah. Which is like super cheesy, but I don't know. I was, I don't know. Like I, I, yeah. I knew it was cheesy, but I was still getting into it, listening to it, which is, I think, totally. a sign of a. Which is, I, I think that's the sign of a good track. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm still hoping to see Peekaboo step out of his comfort zone a bit more because, like, other tracks like "Wrecking Ball," which was the title track, like, like, like they're and "Hypnotendies" as well. Like, they're good. But they're not really doing anything I haven't heard before, um, and I'm and I'm worried if he doesn't, you know, branch out soon, he'll kind of his stuff will get Lose stale. It. Yeah, his stuff will get stale. People will stop supporting. But you know, as of right now, Bobby, I'm, uh, I, I can't fucking complain. Yeah, yeah. Bobby it, just DM'd me uh, to tell you, okay, that the Metallics H2000 plugin really added a nice texture to this track list. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 so is so is Bobby still eating cans? Okay, I'll take that Do you as. Want a me yes. to ask him that? I mean, like, sure, man. <laughs> and then, and then, when you're done, uh, let me know what you thought about the what you thought about the EP. All right, all right, all right guys, question, is fired. Fired. question is all right, fired. All right, I'm gonna do my best Hank Hill impression, and I'm gonna go. Oh boy. Well, damn it, Bobby. <laughs> That was horrible. <laughs> All right. Like whatever. All right. Enough of the Hank Hill impressions. <laughs> <laughs> it was. A, it was a good try. It was a good attempt. All right. All right. Minute um, Okay. I actually really liked this EP. Like I could actually see myself maybe it, listening to this. Like, like not to be go on. A, <laughs> go yeah, on we have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, except Hypnotendies, I don't know. That one felt like everyone, every other one felt like it had like something special about it. That one kind of just felt like like the most run of the mill one on that one to me on this uh this whole EP to me. Um, but I I really liked uh Whistleblower. That was probably my favorite. I wish his build ups were a little more varied than just like the uh the riser and like the the chopping of the uh, I don't know if chopping is the correct technical term but that's the verb I would use to describe it. I, well, um, well, well like what do you mean what do you mean by chopping? Like chopping what? Like when it's like a I I was going to try and recreate it with my voice before <laughs> I, before I quickly realized that was a terrible idea. Like like where it kind of like like um it sounds like they're kind of like re-raging samples or whatever. Kind of, I guess. I, I don't there really know. There were so many kind that. of, I guess, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, it kind of feels like, um, okay, so like, let's say you have a track and you split it up into four beat size samples and you move them around. Like, kind of like that. I don't. Th- I don't think I know what you're talking about either. I, I don't know. Hold man. on. I'm, let's see if I can. Hold on. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's hard to explain. The, the, uh, hold the on. stuff Give that goes on. Considering you know you can't sing it or anything. Honestly, at this point, just recreate it with your mouth. I'm like, I'm, like it, I want to hear yeah. this. Oh, oh! You mean with like the drums just picking up in intensity? Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. basically every build-up ever. That's like. <laughs> I just, yeah. I think that's just one of my gripes with like more, more, the whole uh, 
time of type of music as a whole rather than just this ep though but I, I don't know i wish someone really try and just come out i'm sure there is someone who's like tried and come out swinging and just like break the mold of like different different uh you know what i'm saying but i don't know yeah. I, 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 mean, of... I mean i mean like you know it's not like they all follow the same template or whatever um but the drums picking up in intensity is kind of a staple i guess i don't know it's easy but yeah <laughs> but, but, but but besides the build-ups you were into this thing um yeah i i again except except hypno tendies I, I i really did like uh i liked wrecking ball i thought the build up to kind of because this is gonna sound st stupid in advance so sorry but like i i obviously don't listen to a lot of this music so when it built up to kind of not like actually like hard drop to just kind of like more relaxed drumming it was it was I was genuinely like, oh, that's cool. Like, I didn't expect that to happen, <laughs> you know, because, <laughs> but, um, and then, you know, it happens on every song after that, but still the effect of, <laughs> <laughs> with Whistleblower, it felt cool again because like the little, uh, I don't know if it's bird chirps or like whistling sounds exactly, but that kind of made it feel, feel unique in its way. And then uh, Swingin', you know, Swingin's just a good song. It's, again, I, I, you said it before, but I really, do, I don't really enjoy the, uh, the oh, I don't give a fuck sample, but, but other than that, I think it, if, if not for that, it probably <laughs> might have been my favorite song on the album, but I gotta give it to Whistleblower because of the sample. Take notes, Peekaboo. Start giving a fuck. But no. <laughs> That's... I'm 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 actually I'm pleasantly surprised that you like the Peekaboo that you like this project. That's nice. Uh, I actually liked most of what I listened to, but then again, I refused to listen to the Billy Eilish uh, Eilish remix. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. We 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 were originally supposed to talk about the Zed's Dead remix of Billy Eilish, but someone wanted to boycott her for some listen, reason. Listen, <laughs> there's so many girls in my grade who listen to Billie Eilish and think they have the best taste in music of, like, all time. They're like, oh my god, have you heard Billie Eilish? Like, she's kind of this underground artist right now, <laughs> but she's, like, really weird. She's just... changing the game. Bro. Oh, that's... Because that's... Like, she says, like, staple your tongue in her, in her lyrics, and the girls are like, oh my god, that's not that's... someone something would want. So, that's not something that's, someone that would want to do. Like... That sounds like a lyric that some English teacher would be like, All right, guys, we're gonna analyze the theme of this song and what this lyric does to contribute to it when it has absolutely no meaning whatsoever. When she says, when she says, bury a friend, do you think she literally means the act of burying a friend or, or <laughs> maybe something more symbolic? Okay, I, 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 I totally get the annoyance there. That's kind of the, that's kind of the... <laughs> I, th that's sort of where I'm at with like BTS and all K-pop, basically. Oh um, my god! Where, where I just yeah. I, I just can't listen because there's there's too many stands. There's too many stands, dude. But um, but but, but like, at the same time, like I know it's unfair to judge an artist based off their fan base. You know, like yeah, yeah. I I I don't know. I just <laughs> it's just like you know, it, it's a mixture of like already listening. To, to her music and just being like kind of unimpressed by it just like uh, this is more music that exists you know like this is nothing really it's, it's out, out of there. the ordinary uh, kind of, but it's like trying too hard to be out there if you get what i'm saying I, I, like, I, well i mean i mean i mean I, I mean the music is literally out there it is released <laughs> yeah yeah no but it's like it's like trying it's like the girl who has to prove she's quirky to like validate her existence because it's like oh i'm different than everyone else like staple your tongue oh my god you really Very hate, a friend. You really oh my friend my friend my tongue <laughs> my friend started I relate to the song "Bury a Friend," bro, because my friend, my friend started jeweling, and it's like that's bad for you, bro. I'm gonna have to bury them when they when they get popcorn lung, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I mean, who who put the toilets in the jewel room? Like seriously. Yeah, who put the urinals in the jewel room? Come on. Yeah, but, man. Uh, come on. I, 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 all I know about Billie Eilish, I haven't heard any of her any of her songs honestly besides this one remix that zed's dead did um 
she had a good hot ones episode though you know um i you know i thought she was, i thought she was okay on that uh sean evans did a good job can once I, again can i say i don't know if i should say this but when you said she had a good hot ones episode the first thing that came to my mind was i oh, hope Christ. r kelly goes on hot ones <laughs> so i'm just gonna say that and not not try and say anything else to follow that up but i really do hope r kelly goes on hot ones <laughs> I hope I'm Nick just, Robinson. I hope <laughs> Nick Robinson goes on Hot Ones. <laughs> Fucking Nick Robinson. Jesus. That poor, sounds poor like, Hot like Porter's like evil twin. Just like he basically is. Um, apparently. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But... How evil do you have to be to work for Polygon and then get fired from Polygon? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe getting fired from Polygon is an admirable thing. I don't know. You actually know that I think about it. Perhaps it's like it's like mm, honorably perhaps. discharged. You know, it's like your service here is done. Yeah. You are free. <laughs> yeah, go go work at Buzzfeed if you want to go any lower. Be a be a normal human being. Man, I I I still can't believe Bobby's eating aluminum right now. That's you know that's a wild. <laughs> His mother. Go. Okay, do you want do you want what me to read I... what he says? He says I'm oh, literally God. eating so many cans right now. I doubt I'll be able to return. My mother decides she can't sit down for 45 minutes, and now she's trying to sleep. Now she's trying to sleep, not sleep. I don't know. I guess. And I guess this I, is just gonna be with you then. That's what the title of this podcast. <laughs> is. With, with no, we're gonna put with, with, with featuring amnesia for 45 minutes. Yes. You want you want me to just link, I'll, I'll, the, I'll, the recording channel? Realistically, you could probably cut all of those forty-five minutes out. Honestly, it might be a good idea. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. If this conversation is really confusing to everyone listening, then we'll have done our job. But uh, if not, I guess we just. If left it if in. you cut okay, if you cut all of the all of the forty-five minutes out, do I have permission to tell Bobby that he's been banned from the podcast? <laughs> and then you kick him from the server? I mean I mean oh I I, I, I I don't know. Let's just focus on getting this done and then we'll then we'll then we'll then we'll do some that shenanigans pot, later. Guys. Yeah. Man, amnesia just coming in for like five minutes and then eating aluminum. What a what, <laughs> what a what a what a what a goofball. Speaking of which, let's talk about God damn you. I saw that pun coming from a mile away. Let's talk about goof the goofball EP by uh, you. by 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 Moody Good. Um, I'll start out with this one, I guess. So so Moody Good used to be part of a, a duo called Sixteen Bit. Um, they were you know super widely acclaimed across the bass music community, not by you know actual critics or anything. God no, but um, <laughs> you know uh they 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 disbanded a long time ago. I don't know like what 2013 at this point. Um. But uh, but but Moody Good has been consistently very forward thinking with his bass music since then. Um, his remix of Burial um, by Yogi, uh, not like the weird mashup thing that you know got super popular, but like his actual remix is really fucking good. And uh, so is his self titled album and uh, most of the stuff that he's released. But that's the stuff that I like the most. Um, he took kind of a bit of a hiatus um, or just you know period of inactivity and now he's back this year with a brand new ep uh everyone got super hyped and uh you know talked about this thing a lot but i'm kind of mixed on it um i think it has a, i think it has a really strong like middle but the first track doesn't do too much for me and the last track is i think a i don't want to say too experimental but like experimental in the wrong ways um yeah like like squeaky clean with hydraulics. That's the that's the second track on here. Is uh is good. Um, but I don't think it was worth a massive wait because it's been you know, it's been teased and played out at live shows a lot. And then you know, not like like only only after a long period of time was it released. And I think it's I think it's good. Um, but probably not live. It doesn't live up to the hype. The coolest track on here is definitely anti acid. I think. Um. Because it kind of starts off sounding like this, you know, perfect uh, tripping song with like the slow guitar melodies and stuff, and then it just dissolves into something that would, you know, totally ruin a trip and make people see crazy shit. Um, so I think that, so I think that was really conceptually interesting. But the rest on here, I don't think I totally understand the hype behind. 
So I'm like, you know, like, like none of that stuff is bad by any means, but I just don't know if I'm totally into it. Um, Minichetti, what do you think? What are your thoughts? This is the one I like the least. I, uh, I really didn't, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's too, uh, too big brained for me. And I'm just not into the, <laughs> you're not understanding the, the sounds, enough. man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into the scene enough to really get into the experimental stuff just yet. Um, my favorite part of this album was like the chilled out parts of Anti-Acid. And uh, oh. <laughs> I, I think those sounded nice. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I this one This one really wasn't doing it for me. I don't have much to say about it, to be honest. Um, on, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. I kind of like... Like I don't know. Like 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 I kind of thought that you'd have this reaction because uh you know, like 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 throughout the whole thing I was like there's some there's some impressive stuff going on here but this doesn't it's not too pleasing to the ears you know, um, and I and I also think it's really funny that like the like the gimmicky like uh pro acid part of anti acid is like your favorite part. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> what can I say? You know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a simple man. Yeah. <laughs> IMG, IMG, what about you? Um, I don't have much to say other than I do not like it. I just don't. Oof. I was, I was kind of like, from what I've heard of Moody Good, I was expecting like, some, like, kind of like, dubstep with maybe a bit of like, culprit influence. Yeah, but, like, yeah. No, it was just kind of generic to me, and I was like, alright, no, not my thing. I don't know if I'd call it generic. It's like I don't it's know. a lot maybe, of things. Maybe, but it's not I, maybe I was just fucking too tired this morning. I just was like, not in it. That's that's. I'm gonna say to this. Oh yeah, I don't think this will do anything for any of you because I don't assume you guys know who JPEG Mafia is. I, I know who JPEG Mafia is yeah. actually. Jimmy Jimmy Tick sounds like it could be a JPEG Mafia beat. That's. I mean, like I've yeah. you know I don't, I don't really have I can't confirm or deny that because I haven't listened to much JPEG Mafia. But I, but I, but I like that idea. Listen um, to "Baby, I'm Bleeding." That's a, yeah, that's, my, yeah. that's, a, that's a bang. "Baby, I'm Bleeding." All right, yeah, we'll do. I'll check that. Also, out. he's on the new uh, Flume mixtape. Oh, seriously? That's I, I was debating putting that on here, but I figured that it came out like too recently. I listened to, to the one song with JPEG Mafia, "How to Build a Relationship." And then I didn't listen to anything else off of it. I was only listening to stuff on the list, but I but I did hear the track with Eprom that he did um, as the closer, and that was really fucking good. So I don't know. Look 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 forward to us talking about the Flume mixtape next time, because I think we have to, because Skin came out like four years ago, and now finally something new. Um, yeah. But yeah, so uh, so I give the I give the Goofball EP. Uh, we're gonna talk about Flume instead. It's slightly more interesting out of 10. <laughs> We're gonna talk about JPEG Mob. The, 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 <laughs> and the, then Flu. The funny We're thing is, we talk like, about this is... random call prey out of 10. The, 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 the funny thing is, this is the second time this has happened where a lot of hype has been has surrounded a bass music EP, and then we haven't really, you know, given it an outstanding review because we did the same thing with Void Volume 1 by, uh, by Sudden Death. Yeah. If you remember yeah. that. I don't know. I, 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 I like that EP a lot more now than I did when it came out. Um, but yeah, still. This, mm -hmm. this can't keep happening. The bass, the bass music community is going to hate us. And that's kind of like all of our audience. But anyway, um, so I don't know. We, we, we've been talking about a lot of dubstep and bass music and shit. Is this, so. like, is this like a universally kind of enjoyed album that that we've all agreed is like not great? Or is uh, this, this going yes, to get uh, us in trouble? I, I mean, like, it's not a popular opinion that any of us have on this thing, which is funny. Um, yeah, no, like, like Moody Good has seen, like, like there are a few artists, um, like, like uh, EDM... There's there's so many fucking artists that makes your head spin um, that you wouldn't know about, but Moody Good is one of the few that uh, that everyone just gets excited for when they release something. Uh, like like someone else's sudden death, uh, space laces. Um, so and, and and Moody Good has barely really released in the past year, so everyone was you know all over this thing. Um, and and the, and the hydraulics collaboration, squeaky clean. That's like. That's like one of those bass music songs that everyone knows about but just isn't released. Um, 
so yeah, there was a ton of hype surrounding this, but I just I don't know, just just not getting it. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, <laughs> maybe we're just bass music out. We're just dub stepped out. Um, cause I'm just, not. Cause I've barely listened to bass music, and I still think this is bad. So I'm going on <laughs> oh record and saying this is an objectively bad EP. All right, doesn't do anything right. It's awful. You're gonna get us dislike bombed <laughs> by <laughs> by all of our slash. That was kind stuff. of my intention. That was kind the, of my intention. The whole thing. I mean, I, I, it'll get us attention, maybe. I don't know. If anything's gonna get us dislike bomb, it's gonna be my comments on Nick Robinson. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. We 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 made we made an uh, an untimely Avicii joke once. So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, and yeah, 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 and we were. And we, we don't were talk about that. We've talked about this Cole, aka the Big Finichetti. <laughs> <laughs> Did okay. you actually get disliked, or was no, it just no, like no, no, we, no, we, we back, back then we didn't have any subscribers. We had like under ten, so it was fine. Um, well, now you've said it. Now, what episode yeah, is it okay. on? What timestamp? So yeah, everyone can go you. back. I don't. I don't no. fucking care. No. Okay. I I bet you in five years we're gonna be big and someone's gonna fucking unveil that from five years ago and our careers. That's th th that is that is too small of a mistake to end a career. Hey, can I? Uh, never mind. I'm gonna DM <laughs> you a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, that's no. How, that's how you know it's good. Uh, I, 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 I can like approve or deny. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about something that's not bass music, aka Karma Field's Body Rush. Whoa. Uh, um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> honestly, I think I think I'll start with this. Um. Actually, IMG, you seem super excited. So. Okay, I am a huge ass Karma Fields fan. Like, not even joking. I was, if I could figure out a way to go see the Hex, I would. But I can't because of fucking age restrictions and it never, of course, like, it, it's almost like a pegboard nerds thing. Coming to every city except the one near you. Did, but, did, okay. did, 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 did they do that with you? No, just... well, yeah, because, like, I think they only came to Minneapolis. Ooh, I want to say it was nerds by nature. Maybe I don't know. I I don't I forget which tour they went on. They went on a tour. It was recently. It might have been Full Hearts actually, and they came to Minneapolis. And like otherwise, they pretty much haven't been here, Oof. which is sad. Because it's usually okay. It's either in Chicago, which okay makes more sense, or it's in Pontiac, Michigan. You know, all this talk about the pegboard nerds, let's derail for a second <laughs> and just oh, God. And, 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 and just talk about this one single, I guess. Okay, uh, all right, fine, cause, fine. Cause... Well, I'll get off my hype train for, like, <laughs> five minutes. Just, yeah, yeah, just five more minutes. Cole, how about you uh... start? How about, how about you start with this, actually? Um, you know what this song reminds me of? Do you guys, have you guys spared any time to listen to uh, the, any uh, Gorillaz music? I've, I've I've heard some of it. Um, I haven't listened to it. I've only heard enough. "Feel Good Ink" just because of the memes. Okay. Well, and um, there yeah. there was an old track. I forget what it's called. It had numbers. That's all I remember. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna quickly finish my point and say it reminds me of the reggae kind of guy on Saturn's bars. Uh, but <laughs> that means nothing to any of you. But no, <laughs> maybe someone listening. I don't know. Yeah, so, that's so, why I so, finished it, just in case, because I didn't want to... So, someone's watching, and they're like, fuck yeah, you're right, it does. Yeah, okay. th their mind is blown at my ability to compare music. Uh, yes. No, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how uh, objectively I can judge something where I can't even understand what the dude's saying. <laughs> um, yeah. It sounds fine. I, it sounds fine. <laughs> You, you you've uncovered like the secret behind any uh, bass music song with vocals uh, that the lyrics just cease to matter, yeah. which is a shame. <laughs> I wish it wasn't like that, but like like really, it's just about the intensity with most. You know what song isn't tracks. like that? How to build a relationship by JPEG Mafia and Flume on the new Flume EP. <laughs> <laughs> the only song I listen to. Pretty good though. Ooh. Yeah, we're sponsored. Check out our discount code in the description. It's code fake. 
All right. Yeah, carry on. This guy, the the MC Moda who features on this, he has an old whole album called uh, Trump. And wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, never mind. It's a single. It's a single. Oh. Yeah, I, I was I, hoping that this was an album. I was gonna go listen to this shit and be like, "All right, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> there's a single, and then there's a remix of it by Doctrine. Doctrine. Oh. I don't think so, I know Doctrine actually. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I think he's like an older artist. I think. I want to huh. say. I don't know. All right. Well, hopefully we're not dead wrong on that. But uh, but this, but besides MC Moda, what'd you think? what you think of Gunslinger? Of the actual track. I like the name. Um, That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a start. Uh, there was an attempt. There was definitely an attempt at... I don't really... This is weird to try and judge. Because, like, to me... Like, I know Peg Blurt Nerds is, like, a big... Kind of group in the EDM scene, certainly. Um... So I don't want to say, I don't think, they have to be doing something, right? I don't think I get it. <laughs> I don't think I, I, by this, this alone, I don't think I get it. Because it just sounds I, I, like, I, like dubstep music. Which I, I, I love the image of you sitting there like, what are they doing? <laughs> doing something <laughs> correct here. <laughs> like having like a whole, uh detective board with like a uh, the little uh, pins with <laughs> yarn attached you're like something's not adding up <laughs> <laughs> back to the drawing board and no but i don't know i just i it's not really for me i guess that's what i'm trying to say all right all right img you can go i'll go last um well sound of the police finally released it's not in the same form but hey i'll fucking take it you are so right oh my god i didn't even pick up on that you are so right <laughs> but um okay my one gripe with this track it's too short and it doesn't seem like it has an intro and outro really it just kind of like fades in and then just cuts out near the end my one gripe with this track is why would you even listen to this track when you could listen to Whoop Whoop, That's the Sound of the Police. <laughs> I, have that, I have that song downloaded. It's, it's a, a smart investment. It's a fun, but, okay. it's a fun boom bop track, you know? Yeah, but, um, okay. Here, here's the thing, though. Is, like, I, I keep seeing this trend of, like, drum step, first drop, and hardcore second drop songs. Where else, or, have, you, where else have you seen it? Overkill, um, Carol of the Cartels. Uh, I guess I could call Poison it, although it's more like bro step to UK hardcore. I think. I mean, like, like apples. Like, I mean, like, come on, that's that, that's pretty close. Drum step, yeah, bro it, step. It's it, like it's just the tempo at that point. Yeah, exactly. It's like I really noticed it lately. It's it seemed to have caught art. Um, what was it? I'm trying to think. There was one more song that I'm totally blanking on now. That's all right. Yeah, but it's I I definitely seem to be noticing this trend, and I love this trend because I fucking love UK hardcore. So I mean, I'll take it where I can get it, and yeah, I think it was a pretty good track overall. MC Moses' vocals are usually pretty good, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Other than that, I don't have much else to say about it. Yeah. Solid seven, at least. I, I I'm kind of at the same place that you're at, IMG. Like like I'm giving this a seven two, basically. Um I, I, I think it's I think it's cool that you like know the pegboard nerds, other Cole, and you're just like 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 you know they're a big name. Um Yeah. But I've but, heard of them before. But, but they're also probably like the least consistent big name that we that like just EDM has right now. Um yeah. in like releases or in like quality? As, as in quality of releases. Like most of like like when i see a pegboard nerd song there's a good chance i'm gonna never listen to it again um and that's and that's not to be mean but like certain songs that they have just aren't that good while others are fucking great um do you think you're gonna be listening to this one more this, this one is the rare average track that they put out i think um okay if the... given the option to listen to this or whoop whoop that's the sound of the police which one are you picking Fuck. 
this is a difficult decision. <laughs> They're both like seven out of ten tracks for me. Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess, whoop whoop because I because 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 I because I use that in my car sometimes. I'm yeah. going to make that a soundbite. Okay, I'm what? seriously getting what me. Uh, well, well, now I can't say it again ever in my life, and I have to delete the recording, and this podcast will never be uploaded. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Probably um, for the best. But, <laughs> but 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 yeah, this is like. This is just a very. This is the rare pegboard nerds track that's just fine, you know. Um, I, I I I I like that it's drum step, and I like that I I, I like the hardcore drop in the second half. Um, and uh, other cool hardcore is just when the drums are like every single beat, like um, yeah, it's four on the floor. Yeah, is what it's called. Yeah. Um, and uh, MC Moda's vocals hype as fuck. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Um. But, but yeah, hype is fun. Yeah, yeah. So, so they kind of do their job. Although I really wish lyrics mattered more in bass music because they should. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I know this is like this is like this year's heaven let us down, and that it was highly anticipated, and then uh, you know, and now it's finally here. And it's just another heavy drum step track. Um, yeah. But I, I mean, like, but, I don't know. Okay, I, here, here's okay. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna compare this to heaven let us down. Because Heaven Let Us Down was hyped with this really good like neurofunk drop, you know? Like I don't think I don't think they'd be the well, I, they might have made I like mean, I think they made like one or two neurofunk tracks, but not like Pegboard nerds? I don't think so. They're not... uh, I no, I'm trying to think. I, I should know this. It's uh, but, uh I, 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 before it's you go early, off, it's an earlier. Uh, like before you go off like like I heard the early versions of Heaven Let Us Down. I don't know. I I, I never thought that the neurofunk drop was too special, you know? I I, I, cool. I thought it was I, I don't know. I I had this. I don't know. There's like sometimes where I'll just like li listen to a song, you know, like when it gets previewed, and I'll really resonate with like the beat, like just the beat, not necessarily like any of like the sound design or anything else. Just the beat sounds good, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's just a me type well, thing. I, also, I, I'm, I mean, like I'm gonna so, look here. Yeah. I mean, like sometimes I divert, like unreleased tracks just sound better um, when something yeah. changed in the original, like the, with the actual release. Like, um, like last year, Snails and Space Laces released "Break It Down," which, uh, which was you know being played out at festivals for like two fucking years before it actually came out, which is absurd. Yeah. Um, but like, like I, I, I only listen to the ID version now. Like, I don't even listen to the fully released one because it has vocals that I don't like, and it's like shorter and. I don't know. There's yeah. just stuff that's wrong with it. Cole, do you, do, do you have like any equivalent to that where it's like an unreleased track that got worse when it finally came out? Um. So there's these two lo-fi rappers I listen to called Kill Bill, um, Kill Bill the Rapper, and Rav. Um, and they had a Rav had a song called Lil Empathy. And the uh, there was one part of it where he starts singing, and he uh, basically the song's like a, a a very sad song about how how he like uh, abuses drugs and whatnot. But um, and there's like the in my opinion, what was like the best part of the song because it had like a really good melody to it. And then it, he released it as a just he dropped it just like as a single thrown out whatever. And then when they finally made a project uh, called New Moon. Uh, he kind of, he, they added a feature to the song, but instead of just adding a feature, they cut out all of the part where he sang, oh. and it made the track definitely worse, in my opinion. And then they took the original version off Spotify. So oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really <laughs> shitty. Yeah, but, That's... I mean, like, I still love him. That's... That's... That's cool to know that shit like that happens outside of just the, you know, EDM scene. Yeah. Um, also, they have not released the Neurofunk track. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I thought they did. I really thought they did. But okay. Anyway, but, sorry. Back to the Heaven Let Us Down tangent here. But I was really hyped for this, and then I also heard um another ID that was released. Ooh, I don't even know when it was. I think it was June of 2017. That was when it came out. I think 2017, and. And then uh, October rolls around, and you know they find they finally release it, you know, and it's just kind of like generic drum set. I mean, I mean it's good, but it's not like 
I don't know how to say it. like it's not like it's nothing special. It doesn't really have too much of an identity. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. I mean, I I like both versions equally. I mean, a little bit more so the Neurofunk version, but like, you know, I I'm totally fine with the drum step version. Yeah, unlike yeah. some people who despise it, you know. Really? Uh, the, yeah, like, there's like, people like, who like despise Corbin, it. Or... Um, I'm trying to think who else it was. Um, there was someone else. Me and Duality were having a discussion about it one day. We both like the new version. Um, huh. I, shoot, I, I don't know who it was. I'll have to get back to you on that one, but... Alright. Well... Alright, now, finally, okay. Now, we're now, finally now, out now of bass music. <laughs> Alright, now, now that the hype is no longer being delayed, back to Body Rush. Alright, big fan of Karma Fields ever since I found Monster Cat, actually. Because um, I came in while O23 was being released. And so the first like full album I listened to was O24. And when Skyline came out, I was like, well, this sounds like really cool. Skyline is you know? one of my favorite tracks on the on the whole label. Uh, yeah, I agree. And then New Age Dark Age came out. And it is probably one of my favorite LPs on the label of all time, which I think has only been dethroned by the the infected mushroom lp yeah it's still but, it's still my favorite album on yeah it, it's that de- it's definitely a very close second as far as that goes but um you know after after that there was sweat and nothing else on the label colorblind came out march of last year and then i think it was body rush and then you and me or we, of... we, we talked about one of his one of his singles yeah we talked about you and me um yeah, and then uh, I forget I forget when he announced it. It was a couple weeks before, and he posted this really cool like teaser video, and I, I'll I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll link it to you later. And like I was like, holy shit, this is gonna be nuts! And like, and also you know, Karma Field, so I'm fucking hyped as hell. Yeah, and this thing. I okay. I'm not gonna lie. I I look for stuff on like VK, which is like a Russian social media site where a bunch of like music gets pre-released and shit. You know, I I I, I am not gonna lie. I looked for this thing from 6 a.m. when I got up Thursday morning to try and find this and listen to it early. Well, actually, no. I didn't get up at 6 a.m. That was spring break. Okay, whatever. This is besides the point. So, but I, the I, did, point I didn't realize I was, you were so hyped. I didn't realize you were that hyped for this thing. Yeah, I was like gonna go nuts, and so then it came out, and it's um, it's nine new tracks, seven if you count the two parters as one track. Um, I I would say overall, it's definitely like on the level of new age dark age but i don't think it necessarily surpasses it and it might be a tiny bit lower but i definitely love this album and the direction he's kind of gone with like colorblind and that kind of stuff because it's like he kind of like okay on new age dark age it's more of like a grittier electronic type sound you got like edge of the world which is this electro house you know banger you got like um a whole lot of breaks and stuff like um like uh what fixed you have um i don't know what genre for me would even go under but that's, it's that's probably, probably my... synth- i think it's synth wave like yeah synth yeah, wave yeah, type yeah. Thing. that's that's my yeah. favorite that one yeah um it, more like grit like you know more grittier industrial stuff uh a brave but Distant Future is probably, like, one of my favorite tracks of all time, honestly. Wow. Which, yeah, it, it's, I don't know what drew me to it, if it was, like, the kind of, like, lightness, but it's, like, this kind of dystopia type thing when you really look into it. Yeah, I, but, I, 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 I can see that. I can see why it's placed high, just not. Just yeah. Not yeah, it's definitely a hidden gem for me. But anyway, he definitely balances that, like, you know that light side with the dark side on this one i i yeah i mean that's about what i could say for it and i don't like the latter half as much like 
I mainly listened to this thing when I was mixing it together, which I still have to release that mix, by the way. Please remind me, someone. Uh, <laughs> I'll get on that. <laughs> yeah, what? please, please. Please remind what me. What is I, what is like a mix of an album? Like what? It's, what is it's it? It's like okay. So you know how like on some albums it will just be like this track will end and you know there's like two or three seconds of silence and then the next one comes in. Yeah. What a what a mix tries to do is eliminate that silence right. and like transition smoothly to yeah. the next song. It's basically making a continuous mix, like what the boss Think, fight yeah. EP does, but it you know it's just trying to do yeah. that for all sorts of albums. Yeah. Okay, so you you make these and then you upload it and then presumably you just get copyright struck. No, not, not really. Not usually. not for not for smaller, um, not for like EDM tracks for the most part. Yeah, mo huh. m most aren't like aggressively copyrighted. Um, although yeah. although all Monster Cat I think is super Monster Cat. strict, yeah, but Monster you need Cat. to get a license. But you need to get a license, right? You don't. Okay, they, here's what they do: is they will. They will content ID your video, and they get the revenue. But if you have a license, they won't do that. Except for some songs that are exempt from that thing. And the license comes with gold. So you pretty much... If you get gold, you're fine. As long as you add your channel or whatever. Oh, so, seriously? Okay. Yeah, so pretty much they just take the revenue. They don't block it worldwide or anything like that. And... Yeah, it's, it's definitely a nice system, and I wish a lot of other labels would do it. Because, like... I made a mix of Vertigo when it came out. The thing was worldwide blocked by UMG for three months. Oof, but it's up now, right? I think so. It, it's, it's weird. It doesn't show up on my phone, on my, like, my videos page, but it, I think it shows up. When when there. did you make that? Like When it came out, so January of last year. Hmm. All right, so, yeah, but, I, don't, I, don't th yeah. I, don't th I don't think it's up. I'm looking, but I will. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It I might have sometimes. deleted it, but... Yeah, yeah, it's like, I don't know. A total side tangent. I, I like the album. It's good. Enough said. Hell yeah. Like, um, definitely, okay, I'm, I, if, if New Age Dark Age is like a 10, or a 9.5, this is like, at the very least, a 9 or an 8.5. Okay. I'm sorry in advance here. Oh god, um, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna fucking shit on me. I, I, okay, <laughs> okay. I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate this album. Um, not, not like not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and and I and I like most of uh, Karma Fields' other work as well. Um, New Age Dark Age is an excellent album, and Sweat is actually like, like like Sweat is like yeah. S S S Sweat is actually also one of my favorite songs. Period, which I didn't expect. It's, it's at just all. so weird. It's but, like, you but know... yeah, it, 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 it like I, I didn't expect that. At all. I, didn't, I didn't even like it when I first heard it, but uh, it grew on me a, a, a lot. Um, I haven't really kept up with Karma Field since that album, though. Um, except for the, except for the one that we talked about, you and me, I think. Um, and I'm not gonna say that this album is bad. But I'm definitely disappointed coming off of a uh, New Age Dark Age. Um, there, like there are a few tracks on here that uh, that kind of capture what I like about Karma Fields. Um, mainly, uh, uh, "Who Do You Want?" Um, both parts of that. Yeah. I, I like like that's my favorite song on here for sure. Um, I'm gonna keep listening to that for a long time. And then also, "Super Mega Tokyo" is fun. Um, yeah. And and it's also I I think you didn't listen to the the Who's Kid EP that we. That I that, that that we had uh on one of the earlier episodes, did you? Uh, I didn't listen to all of it. I listened yeah. to like I think the title track, and that was it. Yeah. Well, there's a well, there's a track on there called Tokyo. Uh huh. And 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 it's not copying it or anything, but there there there's some similarities there between yeah. regular Tokyo and Super Mega Tokyo. Ghost produced by a kid. <laughs> That'd be interesting, but um, yeah. but yeah, I. I but the thing is, those are the only two memorable tracks on this project for me. Um, like, 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 uh, like this, this, the album's kind of running into what I'm deeming the zoo problem, the ZHU problem. Um, mm -hmm. because, uh, because Zoo's last album, uh, uh, Ringo's Desert. Which we talked about. Yeah, yeah, which we did. Uh, it, like, it was all well made, and I'm sure it could be enjoyed in the right setting. But for the most part, it's just, you know, mellow instrumental, mellow vocals, and then it's kind of over. Um, and there's not a whole lot of substance there. Um, You're and... saying this is like the opposite, where it's more like grittier no, bass? 
No, or... no, uh, no well, I, I wouldn't really call most of the... I don't like, know. Like, I, I mean, don't know. Like, like mid-tempo bass type stuff is airing on the grittier side. Well, I, I, is there any mid-tempo bass on this album? Uh, Underground System of Forgotten Machines. Okay, um, but yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's kind of a different... That's not like res mid-tempo bass or like, you know, the Sullivan King track or whatever. That's like a yeah. different form of it. I, 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 I did like that track, though. Um... Like it, like like it was kind of boring, but then at the two minute mark it got better. But yeah, like tracks like ride through, colorblind. I think that uh that like that I don't know what it's called, but the, like the wee you sound. I, I yeah, that sounds stupid for me to do. The but siren. It's so thing. overplayed. The siren is so overplayed. Like I hear the same exact siren. I wouldn't be surprised if that's like the default siren in FL Studio. It's not the <laughs> default siren, but it's just the. Like, like I have that sound. <laughs> yeah, like it's so overdone that when it came up, I was just like, ugh, like it felt wrong for it to be there. I, I, I actually, could... Okay, all right. Sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I actually have two little gripes about this album. One, I think Code Ten Thirty One should have been included versus an Underground System of Forgotten Machines. I think that would have made more sense with the album's theme. I don't you know, know. I don't know that track honestly. So I'll, I'll again I link up. it later. Yeah. Um. And uh, second, I think the two part tracks would have been better as one track because, like, I don't know. They don't seem too much different as far as you know being like a distinct part one and part two. You know, and how um. What's, oh, I forget what the first part but one. That's a. I I agree. I think I think the two parters are annoying because. Yeah. It's... I don't see a scenario. I don't see a scenario where you're like, I want to listen to part one, but I don't want to listen to part two, or like I want to yeah, listen exactly. to part they... two, but I don't want to listen to part one because it's so similar. That it's like... Yeah, and especially if you're listening to these tracks in isolation, it's gonna sound really abrupt, kind of just cutting. You should so, yeah. like. If you put like one of them on your playlist, and then you, or like both of them on your playlist, and then you click shuffle, and then you get like exactly. one of them, and then like a yeah. random song, it's gonna be unsatisfying. It's gonna be like, well, now I want to listen to part two, but what? yeah, exactly. I think I think I I I honestly think he might have just try was trying to like inflate the counter because uh, New Age Dark Age was. 11 plus the Build the Cities Deluxe version, whatever you want to call it. So that makes it 12. So I, I don't know. Maybe he was just trying to inflate it. What, I might, it, what I, I might do, and what like like what I do sometimes... Um, is merge them. What, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like merge the tracks outside of iTunes and then delete the original two tracks and then re-import the tracks into iTunes and then yeah. fuck with the thing until it's in the right place in the album. But that's mm -hmm. a lot of work, and I don't know. Yeah. And 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 I like the I first part. I got you. I got you. Yeah. And 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 I like. If you want to send me that, I would, you know, <laughs> highly appreciate that. But um. Yeah. Sure. But yeah. We'll so. But yeah. Like like final thoughts for me is that this album it contains good material, but it's boring, uh, for me personally. Um, really? It, it it it's just tracks like Midnight Drive, You and Me, um colorblind feel real like like these are ones i've written down because that like I, I just can't find anything to say about them i do like underground system of forgotten machines um i like the, the the one that i said earlier uh who do you want super mega tokyo and also body rush the title track i thought was really good but that's really i it. actually almost disagree with every opinion you have on this album. honestly okay i remember when body <laughs> rush shit. came out and i was like hold on hold on what the I, fuck I, is this shit Okay, 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 okay. Cool, I want to hear this. All right. Well, I'm not going to be very good at being able to defend my opinions, but I guess I'll start with this. You're in my Midnight court Drive. Now. Midnight Drive is a straight banger, all right? This is head moving back and forth music, all right? I could imagine uh, when I get a car, you know, listening to this in my car. Like, hey, it's night. called Midnight Drive for a reason. Yeah. This is a banger. I don't get how you don't... I mean, is it innovating the game? Certainly not. <laughs> no, but is it a straight banger? Certainly so. Okay, uh, I would... Alright, alright, alright. I'd say it's a good track, but I wouldn't call it a banger. I'd say a banger is more reserved for, like, heavier type stuff. Yeah, our, 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 our standards for banger are a little, a little higher than yours, Cole. 
That was that, that, that was purposefully ultra obnoxious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if the sarcasm didn't come off. Um, no, but, uh, but uh, well, I guess I guess the rap. I'm using the uh, the kind of rap definition of banger, where it's just like whatever whatever can get your head uh you know moving back and forth. That's a head banger. You know, that's a banger. Um, <laughs> but I'm uh, yeah, but Midnight Drive is a banger. I think my main gripe with this album, well, first, I guess I should probably start with things I like and uh, nice. Um, things I said nice to the Discord message. I'm sorry. That nice. Podcast. Um, I really like the choices for vocal features, like on this album. I think every vocal feature fits the track well, and I think they're like good performers, you know, like they don't. Like like on ride through, I don't feel like I don't feel like the track, like kind of suffocates the 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 vocals, and I don't feel like the vocals suffocates the track either. You know, I, I feel like the work, the the they work well together. Wait, hold on. Um, did, oh no, guys. Did, did Bobby? Oh no, no. Can we mute him? There we go. Honestly, it might be a good idea. To just not have him in the episode too far in at at all. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna ask him to, to not join back for the remainder of the episode. Um Oh well. I, I then um I I like a, I like goodbye if I I'm just looking at the, the track second drop right of goodbye, I'm gonna be totally honest, that like shook me. <laughs> Well, I like the kind of like uh, the the, the kind of like haunting vocals on there. Like the, I, I'm not gonna try and remake it with my mouth. I don't know why. That's my first instinct. Say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I have no shame on this show, man. Trust me. Yeah, I, think... I know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was so passive aggressive. I feel like there's a lot of pent and that was pent up and, like a. My, 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 my sorry, aggression. Cat. Everything is being no, like, we, we just down. yell at each other. That's all we do here. All right? I, don't, I don't think I've yelled at you. I don't think. No, I've... you haven't. No, you haven't. It's not. <laughs> it's... I, I know you want to sometimes. I know you really want to, uh, but ah, uh, rarely. It's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> okay. I'm I'm I'm, um, I'm upset that we're not gonna get to talk about Spacewalk Three because that's like a non bass music thing that I genuinely enjoyed a lot. And that, and, yeah. and instead on the only like non bass music project on here, I'm just like, nah, it's boring. <laughs> oh, well. I think I think I think, think my uh, main problem with this album as a whole and maybe this is just because i don't listen to again i feel like i'm saying this a lot but i don't listen to this music i feel like there's no need for this album to be 55 minutes long like yeah hey yeah. new age dark age is 52 so i haven't listened to it <laughs> like you should. i don't know you really should like after we're done with this like go listen to it please. oh my that's that's an um, order um, that is an order. But uh, that, okay, like like I, I, I'm albums... sorry. I'm gonna keep butting in because mm -hmm. I like Cut Road Fields a lot, and I sure. like I like to kind of just randomly give my thoughts. I like how like he's pretty much kind of taken mostly non-existent. Like other than Tovlo, I don't think I've heard of anyone else like vo that's done vocals on this thing. Like I don't know. It feels kind of nice, and I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I've been really. Mind. I, I I haven't heard of any of the vocalists either. And also, also one thing I didn't realize before. I'm just looking at the track listing now. Like this is all Karma Fields. Like there's no collaborations on this yeah, at all. Yeah, which is nice. That is that 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 is nice. I you know you know that helps me respect respectable. It more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, just looking at this, there's so many things that I I feel could be cut like cut trim the fat from this project and i think it'd be a lot better that's that, that that's really my only problem with it too is that the album the, the album feels like it drags for me like, it's I like an underground I, i'd system. say definitely i'm sorry go ahead uh, an underground system of forgotten machines i don't like that track i think it could probably be cut entirely okay I there like was that a radio <laughs> that he released that's like four minutes oh, maybe thing. If he, I think I don't know. I don't feel like it fits in with this album. If like, well, that, you have to, you have to point. look at the theme of it though. It's like 
why, why, okay, when I link it later, watch the reveal video for it, and you'll definitely see the theme that what? he's trying to communicate. There, what, yeah. What, 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 like, like, what is the theme, actually? Because I, didn't, I well, didn't go in he, knowing the, that. The, the tagline for the album is Denounce Your Humanity. It's like, I don't know, like, huh. kind of just, yeah. And like, the, the video talks about, like, how, like, it's like this new drug called, and, like, it leads to this thing called Body Rush, which is, hence the title and oh. it, it's it's a very interesting concept like it's definitely something you'd see out of like a sci-fi dystopia it's like thing. humans by the gorillas haha <laughs> 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 second hey. gorilla. ha ha okay um, I, 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 and and okay and i can see that with like the the names uh feel real and like you know yeah i yeah i don't know though i still feel like like sonically it doesn't fit in even if it fits into the theme of the album like sonically it's very different from what comes before it I, and then what comes after it i i, um, I totally agree with you on that but i don't know it, it, it it's it's also one of the tracks i find most interesting on here so i, I just wish he dropped it like separately okay, like, like 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 just as a single okay i see yeah that. Um, yeah ride through could have been a really good like single like as a pre-release type thing yeah. Uh, then Definitely. like, um, the, or it could like, have been like, released like around the time Colorblind dropped too. Colorblind could have been cut down, not like cut entirely, but like cut down a little bit. There's you know, a, like, there's there's a radio edit of that I know for the, sure. So. The, yeah, the, the, this is gonna make me sound like you know, like stereotype of an EDM listener that like just hates vocals, but honestly, I think if I were to cut the album down it would be cut the tracks with the vocalists on it um because the tracks where karma fields is just producing and just you know like just more focusing on the instrumental yeah yeah th yeah that's when the tracks get more interesting but the ones with um the the vocalists and the singers like the singing is done well um yeah you know, it's not know, it's, bad no 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 i mean like nothing on this is bad by it. like i'm like i'd give this album a seven i think uh which is not really what i've been conveying through what i've been saying so yeah I just exactly it, it sounds like if you're giving it like a milky five. way if i was to give the milky way album uh not the milky way but the boss fight album second time i've done that by the way i did that in chat before <laughs> so so just to just to show the full extent of my retardation um <laughs> but we don't say that word here sorry i'm i'm, I'm sorry ableist that's scum. gonna that's, I'm ableist that's, scum i'm sorry i'm responsible for my censored. actions in the future <laughs> All right. You're not um, censoring that. <laughs> no, I I know I know I'm just walking around. Um, I I don't know. I uh, I was to give the Milky Way album. The you just said on, it again. <laughs> you caps on <laughs> hats off. If I was to give the if I was to give the Boss Fight album the next wave album a seven point five, I'd probably give this an eight point five. But I think I definitely went wrong somewhere. <laughs> in my rating system because i wouldn't i don't know i don't yeah like you're, you're that, like, comparing yeah. not even close to bass music to bass music yeah it's yeah i, I mean like like it's all i think that's where you went wrong like it's all under the the electronic umbrella but it's not <laughs> it's not similar yeah. at all no okay well i think you went wrong was 15 years ago <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. I'm sorry. Okay, no hard feelings, man. Uh, okay. Seriously. Okay. I, <laughs> so Cole left the call for a second. I may have roasted the shit out of you, but still, no hard feelings. Alright. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's awesome. Alright. Well, <laughs> because someone didn't listen to all the music, we've officially just run out. So, uh... Not me. Cole, what, Cole, what's your, what, what, I've got what's your some, listening uh, I've to got these some days? Questions. I've got some questions to ask, actually. All right. Sure. Okay. okay. Question number one. Um, This one's, this one's an IMG. Oh, God. How much is the employee discount at Arby's? It's half off. It's, <laughs> it's, it's half it, off? Yeah, it's, it's, it's half off? It's, okay, all right. That's wait, 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 That's let me finish. Wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Managers get free meals. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would get so fat so fast if I was a manager of Arby's. <laughs> oh my god. I see, okay, here's the thing, is I like the idea of free meals, but I could never see myself as a manager of a fast food joint. Ever. I mean I mean you're working your way up right now, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> You'll get there. 
as no. Bobby would say, as Bobby would say, you're climbing the rusty ladder. That's yeah. that's, that, that's that's right. You've got, you've got yeah. Your... Okay. All right. All right. Fun story. I know we're still on fake music only stuff, but like, a, a fun story. It's fun. We can I got asked. I I I got asked to be a team trainer, like a couple months ago or whatever. I was gonna be like, yeah. I was like, all right. What's the benefits? She just goes. You get a fancy label and you help out train people. I was like, no, there is or anything. And she's like, nope. I was like, okay. And I was like, yeah, okay. You know what? I'll do it because I know a lot. And then I thought about it. I was like, I'm leaving in like a year and a half. So it's like, what's the point? Why would you ever? You're because a trainer. I, because I'm going you, to you I'm going I'm going to college to get more knowledge. Turn your back on them. No, you're, no. You're, you're, okay, you're I'm moving right, to man. a different area so that you can work at a different arby's oh my god no i'm not i'm not i'm not transferring no i'm not transferring locations again but okay anyway again hold on no no okay i i used to live i used to live in a suburb of minneapolis and that's where i started working at arby's and then i moved (laughs) this and then i moved this summer and i transferred to the arby's that's down here i just like the idea of being like a Oh, oh, moving like gonna gonna miss all my old friends. But hey, at least my at least my new uh, my new town has an Arby's. I can work at. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, I was. Uh, it, it's a long story, and it's probably for another time. Okay, back back. We can do the today. Arby's podcast. We can. Yo, bad. We're fake, gonna do a, that... only the Arby's special. That can be episode twenty. Yeah. That can be no, no, fun. no. That's good. That's gonna be our April Fool's Day episode. Oh God. Oh, we well, you spoiled that. it. Now you ruined <laughs> it. Son of a bitch. I knew I There's was gonna no do this. There's no fucking way that we were gonna get this episode out and then an episode out for April Fools. No fucking that's way. True. That's true. <laughs> it's like nine days away, dude. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we, we we'll do it anyway. We'll yeah. do it live. Fuck sure. it. We we could do we could do a story time episode. Yeah, we'll we'll all write it. And we'll do it live. I'll write it. <laughs> Haven't oh, you oh. seen Bill, yes, Bill yes. O'Reilly? Yeah, yes, I okay. have. I have. I, just, right, I, just, I just whooshed myself to all. God time. damn. Okay, let's just. That's kind of cringe, right bro. Here. That's kind of cringe, just... dude. Let's, bro. let's just like. Let's, bro, it's kind of cringe when you r slash whoosh yourself right there. <laughs> Okay, can we seriously just like end this episode? This has been going <laughs> on for more than two hours. Wait, has it been? I don't know. I think it might be just about let me, two. Let me, that, let, like, me, let me check the recording. It's been like two hours, it's, 45 it's, it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The recording's about to hit a minute. Uh, sorry, an hour, 50 minutes. All right. Oh, shit. Well, well, okay, but keep in mind, we, we, we might be cutting the first 45. Let's do that, actually. IMG, consult me as you're editing this because uh, I, I want some input here. Um, got but it. yeah, so... <laughs> So because so somebody... I'm not done. I'm not done with my questions. I have one more. Is it done with questions? We're gonna keep the episode going. If, if, if you don't mind, I have one more. Bro, all right, all right. Roll one. it on. Us. What is your classic Arby's order when you when you're my going classic half okay. off? All right, my classic Arby's order half off is a classic roast beef with two slices of natural cheddar on it. I I shit you not, it is so much better than the cheddar sauce because. Let me tell you, trying to dip a burger into ketchup with cheddar sauce tastes like shit. I can and imagine. Like, yeah, and on it, honestly, it's it tastes a lot better just with a slice of cheddar. Do you know what my classic Arby's order is? Now, I don't go to Arby's too much, I'm going to be honest. There's not one closer to my house. I'm more Taco Bell guy. Ooh. But um, <laughs> That was the smoothest sentence I've ever heard you speak. I just want to... I don't go to Arby's too much. I'm kind of a Taco Bell guy. I'm not gonna lie to you right here. Okay. I mean, I'm just when it comes to Taco Bell, right? I'm pretty slick as ice about it. You know, I don't, I don't like to. Uh, I know my shit. You know, I. All right, with all right, all right. Right. Get on it. Get on coffee. with it. Come on. I get. I'm getting the Italian, mm-hmm. like the the meat. The, the, yeah. the, like the seven meat Italian sandwich and yeah. the curly fries. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the Italian's pretty good, but I'm like a picky eater and I hate vegetables, so I never get the vegetables on the thing. How I'm, old uh, are you? I've never been. To I'm Arby's. 16. And you still hate vegetables? I do still hate vegetables. I'm a picky ass eater. <laughs> what do you do? You, do you, 
just eat chicky nuggies all the time. No, don't you dare make a reference to give me, you, give me chicken tendies. You, just, just eat chicken nuggies all the time. After, no, I don't. After you get I... home and finish all your bio work and uh, your your uh, your bio work, your algebra two work. You you. You're ask younger than him. Chicken tendies. <laughs> Cole, oh you're you're literally younger than him. I am in algebra two though right now. <laughs> he got that part right. Uh, that's, that's I do it. this to people. I do. You know the game Rainbow Six. This is what I do to people. I I, I, I see you playing that. I see you playing that shit all the time. Anyway, all right, all right, I don't guys. think I don't think gonna... I don't think we've talked about fake music in like a half an hour. So, all right, guys. Unless, you know it, unless anyone right, has wait, any wait, 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 wait. All right, all right. We're, I know exactly how we're gonna end this episode, guys. Wait, I need to. I need to like by eating some aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be pretty good. Are we just no, gonna okay. skip? Are we, are we gonna skip the outro? Or? No. All right, guys. Here's here's our outro. Give me, give me chicken tendies. Be the Nick Robinson sexually Wendy. abuses women over Twitter DMs. <laughs> God. Okay. All of all it. of. Bye, bye guys. No. Like, have a good no. Yeah. We can't end it yeah. like that. We cannot end <laughs> yes. it like that. Okay. All I'm of... gonna end it like that. Please Watch don't. Me. Please Watch don't. Me. All of Mini... the all, of, all the power. All, all of all of Minichetti's social links are gonna be in the description. Um, YouTube channel, Twitter, all that shit. Um, also, there's gonna be Spotify links to everything that we talked about. So, in case you wanna actually listen to the stuff that you just listen to us talk about for two hours, you know, that's there for you. Um, I don't know if it was, if, I don't know if this was a train wreck or a good episode. I guess we'll find it out. It is all over the board, Jesus yeah. Christ. But if you're, sti- feel like, but if you're feel still like watching, it... thank you. And to, you know what? To that said. Finichetti's parents. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Dad. <laughs> and, with, and with all that being <laughs> said, okay, this is the last thing you're saying. We're like almost done with the outro. You're out of time. Oh, so. I'm done. I, no, I can say this after the podcast is over. You All can right. you can cut it off right here. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>